Okay. I put everything into my social media. So give me one second to open this game. And then I'll switch over. over. Hello. Okay, give me one more second. Okay, now I have everything I need. Let's go. Out. Oh my god, what is... So, there are like a bazillion sirens that keep going by, and I don't know why, and it's kind of annoying. Anyway, um, sorry, I'm just checking the desktop sounds. Uh... Ah, I remember this game being slightly lower than usual games. Anyway, how you doing? I hope you're having a good Friday. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. You could have gone anywhere, but you decided to be here. And that's, that's, that's really nice. That's really nice. Um, I hope you have been drinking water. I hope you are much further in your drinking experience than I am, because I am behind. Um... There, there go the sirens again. What the fuck is going on? Uh, give me one sec. Let me mute myself. Anyway, something's going down. I don't know what. Probably see on the news later. If I check the news. But anyway, I hope you've been drinking water. I hope you've had a snacky or dinner. Depending on what time it is. I had a very early dinner. So I'm probably gonna have a snacky later. Um... And yeah, just as a plug, I am doing a stream loots uh, goal-a-thon this month. Uh, consider buying stream loot card packs from me. Uh, you can use them in the chat to redeem fun things for me to do, like um, a very anime ada ada that I will not do without being paid. Um, <laughs> We have some goals. Uh, if we hit 10 card packs, I will play a very spooky game called The Radio Station uh, by Chilla's Art. You may have seen Chilla's Art on a lot of Niji Sanji people. They do like the convenience store and stuff. Um, anyway, that's my plug. Consider buying things from me. Alright, let's go. What you got to say, buddy? Huh. You got something for me today? I want to see it! No. Caw, caw! You better pay up! Better pay the toll! Yes, I remember our agreement. One crow treat coming no. up. Caw, caw! Fucking delicious! Ah, oh, caw, caw! Alright, so what have you got for me? Ooh! Caw, caw! Look at this cool gem! Look at this thing! This cool crystal gem! Isn't that cool? An amethyst! So purple! So pretty! It goes with my outfit. Definitely gonna save this for something special. Thanks for this, Ramsey. Alright, let's check the mail. What we got to do today? So tired. Uh, hold on. I gotta remember the voices I gave everyone. Hello, Sesu. So tired. But can't sleep. Must keep going. Charm, please. Best regards, Mel. All right. You're tired. But you can't sleep. You gotta keep going. Yo, Sesu, you gotta hurry. Bad stuff keeps happening. Mel says maybe I've attracted bad vibes or something. Maybe you got an oil or something for good vibes only? God, I wish. Help me! Jonas. Bad stuff. Attracted bad vibes. Good vibes only. You, you know, you know, you need a vibe check, my guy. I, I I could probably get a bat. Like, if you need a vibe check, I could do that for you. No, I wouldn't do that to Jonas. He seems like a pretty okay guy. He seems okay. But still, but still. I can I can give you a vibe check if you need it. Like, free of charge. I am a witch. I can do these things. Uh, Hey, Asesu. There's this weird energy going on in the art studio that's trapping me or something. How am I supposed to make art when I feel so bogged down? Do you have an oil to help break me free from this? Please hurry. Nyesha. X, 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 Trapping me. Bog down. Break free. 
All right, all right, we picked everything up. Uh, let's go, let's go to the motherfucking garden. Let's do some gardening, right? Am I right? Um, actually, is this? No, it's not ready to be picked. Uh, is any of it ready to be picked? No, okay. Let's take some. Let's make that ready to be picked. Just in case, you know? I might need it. Okay. Now let's water every- oh. Yeah, let's water everything. I'm glad that, like, it's all this stuff that, like, you know, takes two days to, uh, grow. I would hate if it were, like, one in each thing, because I'd never remember. Alright, let's go do some more cutting. Let's get some of these and some of those. Now let's water it all. So it grows back again tomorrow, nice and healthy. Now let's pick up these pesky fucking weeds. Get out of here, weeds. Thank you. I like to imagine that gardening really is this easy. I know it's not, but... I want a garden so bad, y'all. It's not even for like I I want I want vegetables. <laughs> I wanna grow vegetables. Cause I can't really it's really hard for me to buy vegetables from the store. Um because you know I just I just don't trust most vegetables from the store. There's so many like health concerns. Just in general. Um So man, I really just do wanna grow my own food, but I know it's not this easy. I know that. Uh, also, what did I need again? Let me... How many of these do I have? I got three. I got three. I got three. Alright, I think I'm Gouda. Thank you. Alright, I pretty much gotta visit everyone, because I think I gave some people some stuff yesterday. Like, Ro like Ruth. I gave Ruth some stuff yesterday. I wonder how Ruth's day of relaxation went. I'm gonna stop by and check on her. You knock on Ruth's office door. One moment, please. You hear Ruth talking with someone. You can't hear what she's saying, but Ruth sounds agitated. The conversation ends. A person you assume is involved with festival preparations leaves. Come in. Oh, Sesu, is there something I can help you with? I was just stopping by to see how the relaxation spell worked. Ah, yes, the spell. I don't know what came over me. I wanted to do all these things I normally wouldn't do. But honestly, it was kind of nice switching things up a bit. And my nails have never looked so nice. Perhaps I don't pamper myself enough. Unfortunately, I think it might have scared Niesha a little. I don't think she was quite prepared to deal with that. So it sounds like it worked then. I think so. I just hope I wasn't too much of a burden on Niesha. I've already asked her to do an art, uh, art installation. Uh, asking for the festival. Asking for more than that would be too much. I might be an old lady, but I can still take care of myself. Besides, we've got you to help keep us all in check, right? Uh... Yeah, totally. I'm only teasing. Well, sort of. No pe I know people are worried about me. I can sense it from Mel as well. And maybe, just maybe, a smidge from you. Mm. I'll tell you what I tell everyone else. If the festival goes well, everything will fall into place. What's everything? Well, if the festival goes well, there's no more reason to worry. The village will be back on its feet. People will be interested in revisiting Flora. Our farms will produce an abundance of produce. I don't think all that's going to happen from one festival going well, but let, I'll, I'll stick with you here. I'll see what you got to say. Our artisans will draw people from all around. Those are some lofty goals for one festival. <laughs> Thank you, I'm glad I said it. I know, but a mayor can dream. But what I want the most, truly... More than anything, is for Niesha to feel comfortable leaving here. Aww. Huh? Uh, I get it. You want to give Niesha the stability she needs to experiment. That's correct. Niesha had a rough childhood. My daughter, her mother, passed away. 
than the bullying in school. I tried to be there for her the best I could, but it was hard balancing all of it. The village entered a slump. I worked longer hours, which meant missed art shows. I always tried to make it up for her. I always supported her, but it's very strange becoming the person who causes worrying, rather than being the one who worries. Oh, Daisy, sorry. I want Nyesha to become the best person she can be. She can't be stuck thinking about an old lady like me. Have you, like, have you, like, ever told Nyesha any of this? No, no. She doesn't need me to dump on her right now emotionally. Not that you need me to do that either. Goodness, my apologies. You only stopped by to ask about the spell. Stop being so emotional, Ruth. You have work to get done. It's alright, really. No, no more of this talk. As Mel would say, we must focus on the task at hand. Though I am glad I got some of that stuff off my chest. Perhaps that relaxation spell still has some lingering effects. Yeah, maybe. Well, I shouldn't keep you any longer. I'm sure you were planning on this being a quick visit. Uh, actually, I mean, I wasn't rushing or anything. No worries. Out the door with you. We've all got things to do today, correct? Uh, farewell, Sasu. Ruth pushes you out of her office and closes the door behind you. <laughs> she is a strange old lady. I can kind of see how she and Gran are friends. Seems like she cares a lot about me, Asia, but that's also somehow stressful. White? No. Bla black. Ooh, that's a new one. The color for connection, but like a deep connection, but also boundaries. Interesting. Yeah, maybe Ruth could use something associated with the color black. She cares a lot about everything, but maybe that somehow holds her back. But, back from what I wonder, I'll jot that down in my grimoire. Alright, let's visit Mel. You walk into Mel's office, but Mel is nowhere to be found. Hmm. Maybe she isn't here after all. Guess I'll come back. Is <laughs> she fucking sleeping? Good. Good. What the heck? You walk over to Mel's desk and look over a massive stack of papers to find her fast asleep. I'll just leave the spell on her desk. Oh, fuck. Which one was hers again? Um. Oh, no, Mel. What did I make? Mel! I didn't make anything! I didn't do anything! <laughs> I, I did the gardening and then immediately was like, yes, now I can go give these gardens to the people. Like, no! I gotta make the spell! <laughs> okay, okay. So... Yeah, you need a charm to stay awake. Uh, no, I need. Oh, fuck. I need. Uh, I need this. Um, I also need this. <laughs> Let's see, plants. I need a plus. So lavender. Yo, I I probably don't have enough lavender today. Um, I need an orange. Uh, calendula. And then I need Yarrow. There we go. And you need a charm. So I need to switch that for a charm. So it's gotta look like this. Nice. Alright. I gotta keep crafting. Okay. Well, we've been here for like 20 minutes. All I've been hearing is sirens. I don't get it. What is going on? Uh, let's see. Jonas needs an oil for good vibes only. Gotcha. So let's see what kind of plants I got for you today, my guy. You need rosemary. Done. You need... Pea flower. Done. And then you need... 
Calendula. Done. And what did you want again? An oil. Okay, so oils are in the, the bottle that looks like oil. <laughs> of course. The bottle for oil. <laughs> Alright, let's keep crafting. Now we're making... And another oil. So let's get another oil bottle. Let's get the plants. So you need... Chamomile. 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 And then pink for hollyhock. And then calendula. Alright, and we got your oil, so let's do it. Yeah! Alright. Let me go set this down. Let me go do this for real. No. I need to go to the village. Let's talk to Mel. Yep, she's sleeping. We've been here. What the heck? I'll just leave the spell on her desk. She wanted a... Energized charm. Yeah. When you place the charm on Mel's desk, you knock over her pencil holder. Uh, oh god! The festival is on fire! Ah! Uh, oh! <laughs> the festival's not on fire, it's Sessu. Not that you're on f fire. That, that's not what I... What I... Uh, meant. Sorry, I'm just so... <sighs> I didn't have to do that, but she made me yawn. Uh... Mel? Don't worry, Mayor. The petting zoo is completely sore. Oh, Sesu, it's still you. If you're this tired, why don't you just go home and sleep? No. No time. Must count napkins. <coughs> Snore. Here, try holding the charm and see if it helps. You put the energized charm in Mel's hands. Her eyes are somewhat open, but you can tell she's barely hanging in there. An energized charm won't be strong enough to help with this level of exhaustion. But you know Mel is beyond stress, so maybe getting work done is what she needs before she can rest. Mel, I'm going to try something a little extra to help you out. Have you ever read about incantations in Coven Politan? I thought you said no more Coven Politan. I did, but I want you to try something, okay? You search around Mel's office. Fortunately, her witchcraft hobby means she has some basic spell supplies around. You manage to find a few white candles and some matches. You place them on the desk in front of Mel and light them. Incantations are usually good for summoning up a big dose of energy. But you have a feeling getting Mel to say one in her state will be a little tricky. I've lit some candles, and now I'm going to say some words. I need you to repeat what I say with every ounce of energy you have, okay? Yes, Jean, I've got this. I'm not! <laughs> oh, what's the point? Maybe an incantation that imbues Mel with a strong sense of duty is best? Or maybe just something that'll help her trudge through all this stuff. Or tough love? Let's try... Oh, sun, please let me rise. Give me energy to soar the skies! Sun. Nice sun. So warm. N no, Mel. Repeat the words. What, what words? <coughs> Snore. It's gonna be harder than I thought. Time to be dramatic. Fire! Quick, get the hose! Oh, I... I was dreaming again. Did the... Incantation work? No, because I need you to say the incantation with me. Please try again. Don't... Don't give up on me. Alright, now that you might have Mal's attention, let's give this another go. Okay, now focus on what I say. Oh, sun, please let me rise. Give me energy to soar the skies. I summon the sun. Snore. Just focus on all the work you'll be able to get done. Resting is unwise. Mel squeezes the energized charm and lifts her head a little higher. I think, I think I can feel its energy start to work. Ah, fantastic! 
If you say one more time, you'll be back up on your feet. And I'll get all my work done? Of course. Behold, the power of magic, right? Yes, magic. Say the incantation one more time. Here we go. Oh, sun, please let me rise. Give me energy to soar the skies. Hi, Axel. Thank you for lurking. I hope you're having a good day today. Mel sits straight in her chair, grasping the energized charm. She takes a deep breath. Oh god, why are you screaming? <laughs> oh, sun, please let me rise. Give me the energy to soar the skies. I, I feel it. I feel amazing. Incantations are amazing. Witches are amazing. It's up to me to make up for the fact that we're understaffed and over budget. Pulling all those all-nighters has started getting a little rough, but it is what it is. I is there no one else who can help? I mean, yes, but people also keep asking me for help, and so the cycle continues. But I feel much better now, thanks to you. Now, if you don't mind, I really want to take advantage of this burst of energy, okay? Yeah, sure thing. Just make sure to get some proper rest, please. Yes, yes, will do, will do. Hmm, that wasn't so hard after all. And now Mel will be able to get all her work done and get some proper rest. Okay, that's not going to happen. We're going to check in tomorrow and she's going to have zero rest, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. You, Jean. Jean, please, I want to romance you so bad. <laughs> I should check in on Jean. Maybe he'll have some snacks for me. You walk up and knock on the door. Yes. I is he not going to open the door? You open the door and see Jean surrounded by books. What the heck? Ah, Sessu. Am I interrupting something? Hmm. Jean stands up. I, I, I can help myself out. No, I should take a break. Jean just stands in silence. He's so awkward, I love him. Ah. Uh... Sorry, I was just thinking. Come this way. Jean leads you into the kitchen. Tea? Yes, please! Jean brings two cups of tea to the table. I also have some macar uh, macarons. Would you like? Yes! <laughs> please! Jean brings over a plate of macarons in a rainbow of colors. Bruh! Wait, macarons or... Or macarons or... Macaroons? I... Listen, there's so many of these. Uh... Like, are they macaroons or are they macarons? Because I think macarons can be in a rainbow of colors. I, I think generally macaroons are like... The coconut ones, right? Are they usually a variety of colors? You take. Uh, I'm gonna take the pink one. Look at me. I'm pink. This one's pink. I gotta eat it. So pretty. That one is raspberry. You take a bite. Yeah, these are definitely macrons. A perfect level of sweet, yet tart. Tartness is one of the key attributes of raspberries, yet sometimes it can be too much. You want to use sugar to balance the tartness, but not overwhelm it. What were all those books you were reading? Cookbooks. You still read cookbooks? Of course. But don't you have, like, all your own recipes? Yes, but I study to create them. The, the cookbooks? No, no, the recipes. Also, it's good to learn about other people's techniques. You never know what will prove helpful. So that means you'll be studying for, like, ever. <laughs> Do witches not continue to study throughout their lives? Hm. I already know everything. Do you know how to make macarons? Maca <sighs> macaroons? I, I hate. I hate desserts. I love desserts. I hate desserts. <laughs> I'm mad about witchcraft. <laughs> That's all I need to know anyway. I was like you as a student. Really? I wasn't very good at school. Hey! Hey, hang on now. Teachers will get mad at me for reading cookbooks in class. You must have been popular. I wasn't. They put me in charge of the school's bake sale one day as punishment. Isn't that... Wow. <laughs> Hi, Skurb. 
How are you? I hope you're having a good day. I hope you had a good week. I hope work wasn't too bad. Yay, that's good. No one wanted to help me. Ah, hold on. I got the I got the voice wrong. No one wanted to help me, so I had to do it all myself. I baked all sorts of cookies and cakes. You had to do the whole school's bake sale yourself? <laughs> it was a lot of work. A lot of work. Oh, this poor guy is so tired. I guess I'm here as punishment, but I'm not putting the festival on by myself. No. The point of the bake sale was to punish me for my love of baking. That's... awful! But you still love baking? Even more so. Everything sold out from that bake sale. It was the most successful one ever. Man, could you imagine? It's like... Man, this kid just keeps reading his fucking cookbooks in my class. What should I do? We'll make him do the bake sale. If he's the only one doing it, he'll hate it. He'll never bake again. He'll stop reading cookbooks in our class. Bake sale. Everything sold out. Him. Oh, maybe I could become a cook. The teacher. Damn. <laughs> also, as a heads up, we have ads in one minute. Thank you so much for watching the ads. I really appreciate it. It helps me get revenue and I get 55% from Twitch. And that's cool. Uh, pennies to the dollar, you know? Um... And yeah, that's about it. I mean, um, anything plot relevant, I'll wait till after the ads to continue. Um, which, I mean, is the entire fucking game. So I'll wait till after the ads uh, to continue. And that's about it. And also, <laughs> you're right, Skirb. <laughs> if capitalism won't crush his passion, I don't know what will. <laughs> oh, man. All right. One of the people there was a teacher from a culinary school. And they asked me if I'd like to attend their school. Yo, this man got fucking school opportunities from it too. These teachers really messed up. I said yes and never looked back. Learning isn't bad. But not everyone learns the same way. Also, some people are just mean. He's right. Some people are just mean. Oh, okay. I gotta wait. For those who can hear me. How are you doing? I had a good day today. I did work. I did a lot of work. I was in a lot of meetings. Oh, thank you for the follow. Kia is chill. You'll have to tell me if I pronounced that right. Um, so that way I can get it right to, uh, next time. If I didn't pronounce it right. Thank you, Skirb. Yeah, it was a good day. Um, I So I reserved a Steam Deck. Um, earlier this, earlier last month, and it came in, uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, so, you know, I got it all set up yesterday, and, uh, today I was like, well, I'm in bed, maybe I'll pick up, uh, I'll pick up a game to play, and so, one of my problems is that I like visual novels, and, like, I like Higarashi. I'm trying to play through it, but I'm only on like chapter two and I'm just like I don't want to sit in my chair and read this fucking Like audio novel for like centuries. So I downloaded it to my Steam Deck <laughs> And the only problem is that it still uses like mouse controls, but that's okay. I mean, it's like 99% reading so it's fine. <laughs> And my ads are almost done. All right. Welcome back from the ads. I don't know if you heard me because I think you followed me right in the middle of my ads. But thank you for following. Kia is chill. I really appreciate it. Also, Axel, thank you for following. I really appreciate it, buddy. You guys are really nice. I hope you enjoy. Uh, from following, you do get a singular emote to use. It's fun. It's a cheer emote. I love it. Alright. Back to the plot. The plot of the teachers tried to tell this man not to bake and made him do a bake sale. But then he did it anyway. And he was even better than they thought. And got school recommendations out of it. Fuck those teachers. But not fuck teachers in general. We love teachers. But in this fictional instance, fuck his teacher. Anyway, 
I am happy you didn't stop baking for one. These macaroons are delicious. Thank you. This, this man's blushing a little. He's blushing. I have a chance. I have a chance with this hunk baker. Jean looks over at his stack of books. Break time's over, isn't it? Okay, okay, so skirb, skirb. Like, uh, uh, what's the word with, what's the word I want? Um, so, so, macaroons. Those are the coconut ones, right? Do people usually, like, make them different colors? Because I'm pretty sure they're talking about macrons here. But I think they used the wrong word. <laughs> yeah! Because I had a fucking, like, raspberry macron and I'm just like, what's going on? <laughs> Okay. Cause cause I I don't think I don't like macaroons. Not for any particular reason. It's just I hate coconut, so I can't do anything with coconut in it. And that unfortunately singles out that type of treat. But macrons. Anyway. Break time's over, isn't it? If you don't mind. Not at all. See you later. Mm-hmm. Man, we are having like a we had like a meet ugly. We're having like a meet ugly to friends to lovers. We're going to be lovers at the end of this, Gene. Just you watch. Maybe someday I'll enjoy learning as much as Gene. Yo, I'm so happy about it. <laughs> hmm. Yellow. Yellow can be associated with learning, but also joy. Even though he seems to already like learning. I guess Gene is struggling with those uh, Madelines, though. Yeah, it was totally a meat ugly. He was like, my my fucking kitchen is on fire. And I'm like, hey, this spell you ordered. And he's like, please leave. And I'm like, I'll never come back. <laughs> but then I had to keep coming back. <laughs> Maybe incorporating something yellow will help remind him to find the joy in learning. Yeah, let's take note of that in my grimoire. Great. Who next? Jonas. I feel like I had meat uglies with like 90% of the people here. And by 90% I mean Jean and Jonas. Um, I guess technically Devin too. Devin was pretty much like, wow, you don't have any friends? That's cringe. <laughs> so three out of five people, three out of six people were like, oof, cringe. And the other three were nice. They were, they were nice meats. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, you arrive at the town square and look for Jonas. Yes, thank you for feeding- <gasps> Tiger, you leveled up! Good job, buddy! Oh, you're level 5 now! Wow! I think- I think he starts changing colors at like 15, maybe? It's- it's awesome. Alright, or I think I can choose a different color? I really don't know how it works. Um, let's see, I'm looking for Jonas. But you can't seem to find him. Jonas, where are you? Psst, over here. You see a hand wave at you from behind one of the booths. You walk over and look behind it to find Jonas curled up in a ball and hiding his face. Whoa, buddy, you good? Can, can, can I get that spell I requested? Um... Yes? What did I get him again? Oh, right, a safety oil. It, is there a reason you're hiding over here? Jonas lifts his head as he takes the safety oil from you. Oh no, what happened to you? <laughs> what happened? Jonas, what happened to your face? Does it, does it really look that bad? Let me see. Uh, I'm not trying to be romantic with him. so, And I don't know if this game allows multiple, multiple romance routes. So uh, we're just going to be a friendship for now. Where did I go? <laughs> so, so what exactly happened? I say it's a ghost because I am gone from the screen. My face, well... That's from a metal bar swinging into my eye. Buddy, what happened? Then, you can't see them, but... All of my fingers are bruised from missing nails with my hammer. Um... 
Okay, so I'd just like to point out, if you guys weren't here last time, this guy is in charge of all the building for the festival. He's the leader. He cannot nail... Nails. He cannot hit nails with a hammer. I'm worried. I don't know how this festival is going to go, y'all. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be good at this building stuff. Usually I am. I pride myself on workplace safety. <laughs> no! No, Scarab, we don't want to hit his little nails. <laughs> ah, but something feels off. I see. Uh... Didn't your boss break his leg? Okay, yes, but... I told him that the ladder was broken, but did he listen? I even labeled that thing to be tossed, but the old geezer said it was fine. My injuries aren't from being a stubborn old fool. Mine are from a result of not paying attention. That's not any better. Oh, you're so happy about it, but that's really not any better. <laughs> so you're a klutz. Only when people keep asking questions when I'm in the middle of hammering. <laughs> I love his little, his little sobby eyes. <laughs> okay, so you're not the best at multitasking is what I'm learning. No. So, why are you hiding? Because I have to demonstrate the new saw to the crew in a few minutes. Oh my god, please be careful with that saw. <laughs> and you're afraid. Then I'm gonna saw my arm off. I mean, with these injuries, I get it. <laughs> I see. Uh, well, you've got your safety spell. Th that's it? <laughs> We're talking about an arm or no arm here. Do you doubt my spell work? Uh, no, it's just... C can you say a few, like, uh, magic words or something? Magic words buddy. Isn't that a thing which is due? Isn't that a thing which is due? Sure, maybe in children's books. Ugh. Yes, of course. <laughs> How does this sound to you? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Sorry, I keep missing sometimes. It's like a borderless windowed, I think. <laughs> sometimes I miss. Uh, moon crystal power. Makeup. I guess makeup would help cover up some of these injuries. Ha! Wait, why are you laughing? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Jonas! Jonas! Where are you? Crap, it's almost time. I'm going to die. You've got to help me. Did you apply the safety oil yet? Oh, right. Jonas smears the oil all over himself. This is a man that said... I need to be safe at all costs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I see I see that emoji. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now what? Go, go to your meeting. <laughs> but the magic words. <laughs> Jonas really does doubt the potency of your magic. Alright. Look, Jonas, me and you. Five minutes after your meeting, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> You should show him how it's done. Or is it even worth the effort? How about making him pay? God, I love me. Okay, here's some magic words. Slow and steady, watch your back. Conjure a hard shell that protects. Wow, I think I can already feel them working. Maybe Mel's right. Magic is amazing. Buddy, I just gave you a whole bunch of balderdash, but okay. Alright, time to be fearless. You walk with Jonas over to his crew of people. You can't wait to see your powerful magic shock and amaze. Jonas takes his place by a massive saw. Hello, crew. Today I'm going to give a demonstration of this new piece of equipment you see right here. It's a giant saw. And I don't think I need to say this, but I'll say it anyway. A giant saw is not a toy. <laughs> You're right, Skirm. I did just watch a man, indeed, douse himself in the equivalent of Crisco. So, um, first, you press this button here. 
Just as Jonas goes to hit the button, you hear a strange scraping sound. Anyway, just press this button, Ann. Just press this button, Ann. I'm trying to press a button here. Well, whoever's making that noise, please stop. It's distracting me. Uh, boss. There! There it is again! Don't look now, but... What? Have I already chopped off my pinky and haven't noticed yet? I don't see any blood, do you? Should, should we grab it before he sees it? Grab what before I see what? Jonas looks down. His face turns pale. T -t 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 turtle You hate turtles? You're scared of turtles? Turtle! Don't worry, we got a boss! I, I respect this crew. The whole crew! <laughs> the whole crew! <laughs> descends upon the turtle, hurtling it away from Jonas. Jonas looks like he's about to pass out from fear. I, I want to believe that this turtle is like... You know, like that really tiny turtle in that meme video of the turtle, like, dancing when it's having, like, water, like, poured on its butt? I want it to be that big. <laughs> A.K.A. not that big. Uh, boss, are you alright? I'll get him a chair! I'll get him a cup of tea! Don't worry, boss, you just sit here and relax. We'll get the new saw figured out. <laughs> this crew is so good! Can I date his crew? <laughs> you notice Jonas growing more and more flustered. <laughs> Get away from me! Jonas shoves his way out of the crowd and takes off running. His crew stands around dumbfounded. D did I brew the tea too long? <laughs> you tiptoe away from the festival site. <laughs> Maybe my magic was a little too strong again. But Jonas didn't cut off his arm, right? God. Me. Well, at least the man didn't injure himself. I'd say it's all good. I'd say it turned out well. Uh, I need... Yeah, I need vials. I'll take a sachet. I'm good on everything else. Alright, thanks, ma'am. Uh, let's talk to Devin first, because I think I'm checking up on them first. You walk up to the music studio. You oddly don't hear any sound coming from inside. Devin, are you in there? The door creaks open. Someone peeks out. Sesu, is that you? Y yeah And only you? Uh, as far as I can tell. We need to be quick. Devin opens the door and pulls you inside. Devin, what's going on? Oh, okay, so, uh, important things to note here. Uh, uh yesterday, game time yesterday, we gave Devin a spell that made them want to, like, to chill out. Because they were going to a party and they wanted to make friends. And they were like, listen, I need a spell to help me make friends. So I gave them a spell that basically made them chill out. But also, um, Devin really hyped up the, uh, how to, how to explain. Uh, Devin was like, this is going to be the scariest party of my life. So I expected, like, a rave. So I gave him a spell to chill out during, like, a rave. But the actual party was, like, a very chill, like, picnic and weed party while eating hot dogs. Okay, I, they didn't say anything about weed, but I mean, you know, you're outside. It, it, it was an outside party. It was a very low-key outside party. This, this individual was way too chill for that, but also made a lot of friends. So now we're at the aftermath of that. Um, <laughs> Devin, what's going on? Alright, we're good. You look down and notice Devin is grasping your arm. C quite, quite the grip there, my friend. Oh, sorry. I'm all out of sorts, aren't I? Just a little. What was going on, buddy? You're gonna laugh at me. No, I won't. I promise. After what I did at that party... People keep coming to see me. So every time someone knocks on the door, I put on a fake voice and tell them I'm not here. But I don't think it's very convincing because they keep coming. <laughs> Devin's issue is, oh no, I made friends. <laughs> and now everyone just thinks I'm weird. 
Hey, that means the spell worked. They're not supposed to think I'm weird. No, no, not that. The fact that people are coming to see you. I guess. But I think I've caught a slight cold from that lake swim. Oh yeah, he also was, uh, sorry. They also were so chill that they were like, I'm gonna go jump in the lake. And then other people were like, no, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. But, um, it is not something that Devin would usually do. <laughs> I've been drowsy and unable to focus all day. I see. Uh, sometimes sacrifices must be made. And sometimes that sacrifice is work. And who needs work anyway? Honestly, I'm jealous of people like Niesha and Jonas. People with big personalities can walk into a room full of confidence and people notice them. But for me, I feel like such a background person. And then, when I get my time in the spotlight, I just get overwhelmed. I feel like I should be more like them than I would have a role in social situations. A role? Like, like a job? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I guess, I mean, like, what do I bring to the table? I'm just a dull, quiet person who stands in the corner. Excuse me, you have a very important job, Devin. And that is to find the animal at the party and to hang out with it. That is a very important job. That is for the people that are dull and quiet. I want that job. People only come to see me now because they think I'm something else. Hmm. But... Don't you want to be something else? Wasn't it a uh, new summer, new me or something? I was wrong. I want to be the quiet person who stands in the corner, but that doesn't feel interesting enough. Sorry, I'm being such a downer right now. But I don't know what to do. Hmm. I'll stand in the corner with you. We're friends, right? But I don't want to make you stand in the corner if you don't want to. Buddy, listen. If we stand in the corner together, we get we get the party animal together. Like, the animal at the party. Trust me, th this will work, buddy. Do I seem like someone who wants to be the life of the party? You've never even been to a party. Yes, because I have no friends. Thank you, Devin. Um, I've been to one. And I can't say I feel like I've missed much. I don't know about you, but I feel like there's this pressure, like... I need to be socializing all the time. And if I don't make the most of it, I've somehow failed. Is that... Is that what I'm supposed to be feeling too? No, no. I've spread my anxiety again. This is... This is pretty hard. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only new person here at least. Yep. Feel free to vent to me about the awkwardness of it all. And you can vent to me too. And we can help each other summon the courage to keep marching forward. We shall rule over the quiet back corner of every party. Yes! It shall be open to everyone who wishes they weren't at the party. I'm really glad you stopped by. I'm feeling much better now. I'm glad. I should get going, though. I'll let you rest. Thanks. Also, if you see anyone looking for me on your way out, tell them you are here. Got it. Thanks, Sasu. Bye! Bye! Pink! Uh, uh, really? Burgundy? <laughs> okay. Burgundy. Burgundy is a color used for manifesting. I can help Devin summon up the energy to make things happen. Let me write this down in my grimoire. Where am I supposed to find this stuff in my grimoire? I don't know what all the buttons do. Eh, somewhere. Alright, now it's time to talk to Niesha. Hello, Niesha. You walk into the studio and see Niesha standing frozen in the middle of the room. Stop! Don't come any closer! You'll get sucked in too! Uh... But I've got your order. Quick, roll it to me. Okay... You take the freedom oil and roll it towards Niesha. However, due to the oil's non-cylinder form, it starts to veer off to the left. Almost. Niesha reaches for it, but her feet appear glued to the floor. Fortunately, she manages to grab it just before it rolls out of reach. Got it. That oil won't help with whatever glue has you stuck to the floor. It's not glue. The pressure radiating from these walls is trapping me here. 
When I wrote my order to you, I could still at least move my feet a little. But now I can't move at all! Nisha pops up the oil and applies it to her wrist. You wait a few moments. And another few moments. Let me see if I can move now. Nisha tries to lift her foot, but it's still stuck to the floor. Stupid oil! Why isn't it working? Probably because you haven't actually solved what's keeping you from moving. Obviously, it's some sort of energy in the room. Well, yeah, but what energy exactly and why? That's what the oil is supposed to help you figure out. Hmm. I don't have time for this. I need to get unstuck now. Then you need to stop and think about what's causing this. Hmm. Hmm. That's it. You're a witch. Um, yes, I, I am a witch. So that means you can do energy readings, right? Uh, what if you do an energy reading off me? Why would I do... I just read about them in last month's Cohenpolitan. Oh my god, everyone needs to fucking, like, cancel your subscription! This stuff isn't good! It's just giving you, like, fake witch tips! <laughs> They said energy readings can help you figure out how you're feeling. Apparently, they should be easy enough for a witch. Unless you're really, like, not a witch. Uh... Cracks knuckles. Let's do this. Sweet, I knew I could trust a pro. But you are not a pro. You don't know how to do energy readings. But Niesha probably can't tell a good energy reading from a bad one. A perfect combination for a situation such as this. Of course, you could actually try, or you could also just make it up. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. I'm seeing... Colors. It's kind of orangey, which means, um... There's lots of creativity, ambition, and uh, uh, confidence in this room. Well, well, duh. This is an artist studio after all. But also, this energy might be too much at times and can be your undoing. Ha! As if. Next. Yes, yes. What else do you see? How about the shape? Excuse me. And your aura radiates. Like a big, bright star. Well, that sounds good. It's hard to tell if it's radiating with positive energy, or if it's about to explode. That may not be so good. At least it sounds like Niish is buying it, but you're kind of running out of ideas. Let's wrap this up with one more element that you see. It looks like the aura is concentrating around... Rub your stomach. You rub your stomach. Well, now that you mention it, could mean inability to communicate, but also digestive issues. <laughs> so orange and radiant energy located around my stomach. Okay, but what do these things combined mean? What is the deal with this stupid room and with me? Well, you see, just as you're about to give your explanation, you realize you do feel strange energy, like a simmer on the verge of a boil. And it seems to want Niesha's attention. Could the energy be coming from the room? Or maybe from something else? It's probably best you just focus on the aura reading. It's what Niesha asked for anyway. The color orange indicates an abundance of creative, of creative and ambitious energy. Meanwhile, the energy's radiant shape says to keep trying to persevere. However, the energy around the lower part of your body means that you cannot communicate. Whatever's caught up needs to be released. Wow. You sounded like a legit witch there. There is something in here. What? No! It's just a loose shelf. Jonah should come over and fix it. No, no, I can feel it. Niesha, maybe that's the energy you're... No! Anyway, thanks for the spell and the reading. Look, I can move my feet again. Better get back to work, don't you think? Now, if you could go so I could paint, that'd also be great. Niesha starts pushing you out the door. Wait, wait N Niesha. I, I might actually be on to something here. It can wait. Bye. God damn. Niesha slams the door behind you. 
Why does it feel like everyone in this village asks for my help and then kicks me out? Alright, give me a second. I'm gonna drink water. Okay, let's go. Also, we have ads in about two minutes, just as a heads up. Thank you, as always, for watching the ads. Helps me gain revenue, 55%. That's, uh, 55 cents to the dollar. I think that, oh. Oh, right, I forgot. I forgot I can change my looks. I'm feeling my looks, though. I'm cute. I'm cute as hell. Okay, there's something else in this game that I haven't tried. I got stuck in a loading screen. It's fine though, it's just a really long loading screen. Okay. Woo! Hey. Okay, there we go. Alright, there's something here. Yeah! This shit's been over here the whole time. I just haven't done anything with it. What is this? Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, it's just more, uh, it's more decorating options, you know? Oh! This is where I can put the, the crystals. Yeah! I don't think I got any more. Oh yeah, I do. How many I got? Oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> Alright. Let's do a tarot card reading. I don't know tarot cards. <laughs> Hopefully it tells me. Uh, I don't know what spread is good. So let's just pick a three card spread. It lets you look deeper into a situation by revealing the past's influences, the present's current, current state, and what the future holds for the situation. Four card, when you're looking for the physical, emotional, logical, and spiritual elements of a question or situation. When you want to ask an either-or style question. The first card is the outcome for option A. And the second card is the outcome for option B. Drawing a single card is perfect when you're looking for a guiding card or daily inspiration. Uh, I guess I'll do a three card spread. Death. End of the cycle. Renewal, release, metamorphosis. The present. Inner self, disillusioned. Instability, the unconscious. The future. Harmony, tempering, bringing together. Growth. Hey, that's pretty neat as fuck. I can see why I didn't notice it. It's just kind of over here out of the way. Um, but that's cool, you know? That's just extra stuff that they decided to put in the game that's really cool. Are you ready to end the day? Sure fucking am. Oh, uh, what you- what you got to say, buddy? What's up? What's up? Huh. It's treat time? Caw caw, please insert the treat directly into my caw. My my beak caw. Okay, okay. How are we doing on preparations? Is there anything I missed? I still got orders to fill? I haven't checked in on everyone? Okay, okay. No, wait, 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 wait. Let me give you your treat. Yeah, let's give you your treat. One crow treat coming up. Caw caw. Delicious. Now that's enough for today. Grant says too many streets are bad for your beak. Hmm. Sad crow sounds. Alright, let's see what we got. Dear Sesu, I feel as if there's so much I want to say, and yet I can't bring myself to say it. Unfortunately, this has caused some conflict within the festival planning committee. Perhaps a potion could get us all on the same page? Sincerely, Ruth. Want to say, planning committee, same page. Okay. Sasu, I think I have a solution, but I want nothing else to go wrong during my attempt. I want to know if I've truly figured it out. Could I get another charm? 
solution. Nothing else to go wrong. Truly figured it out. Hi, Sasu. I'm feeling a little lost about what kind of music to write. I feel like I'm not capturing Flora. I don't know. Maybe someone else has a good idea. Maybe a potion could help too? Thank you, Devin. A little lost. Not capturing. You're looking for ideas. Okay. Ah, uh, let's go pick up some fucking plants. Oh, that didn't grow. Okay. There we go. And then let's pick up some weeds. Thank you. Let's cut, 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 and water, 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 and weed, and weed, and weed. I hit the wrong button. Oh, please, just let me leave. Just let me leave. Okay. Alright, and let's cut, and 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 water, 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 water. And tug. 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 I think that's everything. Alright, now we will go actually make the spells. We will make what we need to send out first. Okay. Oh. I'm not at the table. No, please. I need to be at the table. Yes, the table for Sesu. To do their potions. Orders. Uh, potions. Oh, god damn it. Potions need to be in th these. Okay. So you want a rose. By any other name. Lavender. And what is that? Oh, Yarrow. There you go. Is that not right? Uh, yeah, flower. I got a rose there. Oh, that's not lavender. I see. That's, uh, this one. Aluminum. So let's take that out. Let's put that in. There we go. A chit-chat potion. Uh, let's see. Jean needs a charm. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Let's go to plants. Okay. Let's get you some chamomile up in here. Let's get you some calendula and geranium. Success charm. I hope this works for him. Okay, let's keep crafting. We got one more to do. It's also a potion for Devin. Let's go to plants. Let's go here. Okay, now we need lavender. And then we need this one. And then we need geranium. Yeah! Alright, we're finished. Let's go. I guess I'll visit everyone in order again. As you make your way to the town hall, you see another patch of flora full of potentially interesting ingredients. Wow! Look at all of, the, look at all of this! You look over your shoulder to ensure no, no one's watching. I'm sure these plants and fungi are chock full of magical potential, too. I'll have to take some home for research, though. I got away with foraging last time. I'll just take a pinch of everything and shove it into my pockets. <laughs> my inner Ramsey. Caw, caw, what are you doing? Stop that, caw! Oh no, my inner Ramsey again. Yes, I know just because there's no sign doesn't mean it's free for the taking. Caw! 
Ka, you dumb bitch, put it back. Ka, ka, you're gonna get us put into jail. Ka. And just because it was fine last time doesn't mean it's fine this time. Not getting caught doesn't make it legal. Ugh. If only you were the real Ramsey. Because then you could actually stop me. Ka. You push your inner Ramsey far back into your consciousness. Now let's go see Roost. You walk into the town hall and head to Ruth's office. As you get closer, a heated argument gets louder and louder. You find Ruth standing outside her office. The heated argument comes from inside. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, you've already spent 75% of the budget. No, no more buying nails, wood, or whatever you do. Fine, then don't have a stage or produce stands or anything else. Hmm. Oh, Sesu, so glad you made it. W what's going on in there? Oh, that's just Mel and Jonas figuring out the remaining construction budget and schedule. I should really be in there, but I was hoping to get that spell I requested first. Right, right. Give me a sec. I'm pausing to drink water. Okay. The chit chat potion. This one. Just as you're about to hand Ruth her spell, Mel and Jonas erupt again. No, you're the one who stole my allowance to buy baseball cards. Oh, is that what this is really about? That was years ago. Do they usually argue this much? Excuse me. I think tensions are just running a little high at the moment. So irritating! I'll yell at them for you. No, no, please. No more yelling. It'll just fuel them. Sometimes I appreciate the fact that Mel and Jonas are siblings. It means they feel comfortable being honest with each other. The only problem is that they can be too honest with each other. They sound like a lot to handle, to be honest. Perhaps, but it is also my responsibility to ensure blow-ups like this don't happen. This could have been avoided if I had communicated my vision more clearly. Nah, this ain't on you, buddy. This is on them. I mean... You're not their mom. There's only so much you could do about brats. <laughs> they certainly are acting bratty right now. But it's only because they care about the festival. Figuring out how to handle situations like this is all part of my responsibilities. Your actions in the short term can have long-term effects. This is way too much for me. It's sort of like your magic, right? My magic is nothing like being the mayor. I'm not making laws and stuff. I'm not like that. Magic only works when you can understand the intention and desires of the person the spell is for. Mmm... That doesn't sound like something out of Copenpolitan, Ruth. Nope. Your grandmother told me that. Being mayor is similar in that you need to listen to people for things to run smoothly. Understand where they're coming from and what they want. Ruth takes a deep breath and stares off into space. You kind of feel like there's something not being said. If Ruth really believed what she said, you'd think she wouldn't look so sad right now. Maybe Ruth was trying to tell you something when she said magic is like being mayor. Maybe Ruth has some secret intention she wants you to help her with. Hmm. It looks like you never actually handed over the spell Ruth requested. You take three of the mystery ingredients you foraged this morning. The last time you used a random ingredient, it was kind of chaotic but also cathartic, you think. Maybe one of these will help too? Uh, these leaves look interesting. While Ruth is off in her days, you slip one of the leaves into the oil. I love that I'm just like, Oh, I don't know what this is going to do, but here you go, buddy. Thank goodness I'm not FDA approved, right? Thank goodness we don't got the FDA in this universe, right? <laughs> like, hello? <laughs> Ruth. Hey, Ruth. 
Sasu, how nice it is to see you. Oh, no, it's Robo Ruth. When did she... How did she... I'm sorry, but I have a meeting I must attend. Wait, you need to take this potion. My potion? Oh, that's right. How kind of you to bring it. I'm sure we'll get excellent work done now. Ruth takes a communication potion and drinks it. <laughs> I fried her circuits again. Yeah, here we go, buddy! Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Let's put these kids in their place. My genius strikes again. <laughs> go get them! Ruth enters her office. Let's see this magnificent spell in action! You carefully open the door and peek inside. Yo, pipsqueaks! Y yes, Mayor! Yes, Mayor! Uh, yes, Mayor! Quit it with the yelling! You're giving the whole village a headache! Yes, Mayor! Yes, Mayor! In all my years of being Mayor, I have never seen the festival preparations in such a sad state! I'm trying to rein in the budget! And I'm trying to ensure everything is done on time! It's Jonas's fault! It's Mel's fault! Excuses, excuses. Is any of this even worth it? The festival has been dwindling for years now. And what? It's suddenly going to go well because we got a new witch? Uh, ouch. Ow. The energy does feel different this year. I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, everyone's working super hard. Year after year and nothing changes. I think. I think I quit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I fucked up, y'all. I fucked up. The mayor walks out of her office. You manage to hide before she sees you peeping. Mel and Jonas look at each other stunned. <laughs> Was that for real? I don't know. Something feels off. Let's get this bed- this bedule. <laughs> Let's get this budget and schedule sorted. Maybe that'll help cool things down. Yeah. You come out from your hiding place. Mm. That was good, right? No, it wasn't good, me. You fucking idiot. You walk up to Jonas's house and knock on the door. Oh, Sasu, uh, come in. Can I get you any... Wait, I'm out of tea. Let me see if I have any coffee. Jonas, it's fine. I'm out of coffee, too. Would you like, um, water? I'm, I'm fine, really. I just stopped in to check in on me after yesterday's debacle. I figure you might. The whole town seems to know about it. Even Mel stopped by earlier to see how I was holding up. You know, yesterday... Maybe my magic was too strong. You try to explain, but Jonas is too nervous to notice. I haven't lost my cool like that since the incident. The incident? Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. You want to talk about it? I guess so. We don't have to. Nah, we can. It's fine. It might help to avoid future situations. Not that I want everyone to know, but... Maybe it's good if certain people do. Like, friends. So. So. I wasn't exactly a model student. I was constantly getting yelled at by teachers to pay attention. Mel made it look so easy. She could study and study for days and get straight A's. But for me, I couldn't do any of that. I could hardly sit still, let alone focus. Well, I could, but only on specific things. Hey, ADHD rep! Let's go! Like things requiring me to use my hands. Tinkering with things in shop class. Th things like that. Whoa, I get it. Really? Yeah, it's why my grand decided to train me. Usually, Von Tiesel gets sent to prestigious academies and stuff. It's not like I don't know stuff, I just... Kind of feel like you learn in your own way. Yeah! Wow. We're neurodivergent buddies. Good for us. I love this for us. 
My parents didn't know what to do about it either. So they just kind of let me do whatever. Mel was their star child, so I, I didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Well, Mel was never like that. Even though she struggled with me sometimes, too. We're just wired so differently, but I could always tell she believed in me. Well, Mel and Jean. So, when the incident happened, everyone realized that I needed something different. And, and what was that moment? I was sitting in class, and the teacher was teaching us something. But the other students behind me were talking, and there was construction outside, and one of the lights... Some students noticed I wasn't okay, so they crowded around me, and they kept asking me question after question. Are you okay? Jonas, what's wrong? I know they only meant well. Truly I do, but it was too much. So I picked up my chair and threw it across the room. No one was hurt or anything, but outbursts like that still aren't okay. I ran out of the classroom and hid in the bathroom. Aw, oh, poor baby got overstimulated. Oh. Eventually, they found me and contacted my parents, but everyone was at a loss of what to do. I visited Mel to try and talk to her about it, but she got angry with me too, mostly because she felt disappointed. Oh, hydrate. Thank you. Okay, I actually have to get more water, so I'm going to mute myself and go get more water. I'll be right back, y'all. Back with my water. I had to, uh, had to get help because it was very heavy. <laughs> and then I got an ice cube for my water. And yeah, I needed the ice cube. Thank you. Welcome back, me. All right. So we're in the middle of Jonas's uh, poor, overwhelming outburst incident. All this time defending me, and then I go and do that. Then Gene stepped in. He bought up my interest in putting things together. He mentioned the local builder in Flora was looking for an apprentice, and I should consider it. Wow, Gene is such Gene is such a bro. I wanna I wanna date this fucking man so bad. I blurted out, yes. Mel lit up too, and she took me to see the builder the next day. And the rest is history. So, um... Yeah. That's the story. Wow. So you're a misunderstood genius? Like me! I don't know about the genius part. But, yeah, maybe we just have different learning needs. The more I get to know people, the more I realize everyone is constantly figuring things out. Like, does anyone know what they're doing? Right! I ask myself all the time! And then I'm in charge of ensuring everything's built for the festival. 
And I'm in charge of ensuring everyone can function. Why are we in charge of anything? Oh no. Wow. This is when our meat ugly is turned into friendship. It's, what is it, day six? Yeah. <laughs> That's when everything turns around. I... I don't know. I'm really glad we got to talk about this, though. Yeah. Me too. Well, I have some construction budget stuff to review. Yeah, I should probably get going, too. I'll catch you later, then. Yep. Stay chill until then. I'll do my best. Burgundy? Burgundy? Hmm. Maybe Jonas is more mature than I give him credit for. Or at least he's more self-aware than I thought. But it sounds like he's still figuring things out. So yeah, Burgundy makes sense then. I should take note of that in my grimoire. Alright. Time to go to Mel. Time to see if those incantations got Mel in tip-top shape. You walk up to the front door and knock. The door is flung open. Ah! Sesu! Perfect timing! Mel does not look very... rested. I know you said to stop those rituals, but I was wondering if you could help me with one teensy tiny... No. You need to rest. But I need to summon the sun, Jean, to soar the skies so I can get everything done in time. Wasn't Sesu's charm supposed to help with that? Well, yes, but you see, we also recited some incantations yesterday. Incantations. Yes, incantations, and I think they did the trick. That sounds like a lot of magic. I know, isn't it wonderful? But then I had the thought of, why stop there? If I do my ritual on top of Sesu's magic, it might have a multiplier effect. I think you just need to rest. But with magic, I won't have to. Isn't that right, Sesu? Don't bring me into this! <laughs> oh, no! Uh... I'm gonna do a non-committal shrug. <laughs> you don't want to get in the middle of this. Mel seems awake enough, so this isn't your problem at this point. I, I, I guess? See, Jean? Just think of how great the festival could be if I could get double the amount done. Perhaps if you stop spending time on rituals and spent more time on your tasks, they get done. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Hmm. Hmm. Awkward. Yeah, well, you spend your days baking the same cookies over and over again. They're cakes. Whatever. Cakes. Who cares? All because a critic made one snide comment. I shouldn't be here. And then you lock yourself in your kitchen, obsessing over every little detail. You lock yourself in your office. And when I do see you, it's only when you come home to do rituals. All because people said last year's festival was boring. Yeah, well, who needs rituals when you have a grouchy husband to rile you up? I'm heading to the office. I'll head to the restaurant then. Ah, uh, you ever just accidentally break up a marriage? <laughs> Mel storms out of the house, and Jean walks out behind her. Excuse me, who's supposed to lock up? <laughs> Did my magic just cause their divorce? That's what happens when married people fight, right? I need peace. Mel needs peace. <laughs> oh my god. Blue. Yeah, that could do it. Something blue could help Mel obtain at least some tranquility in her life. Let me take note of that in my grimoire. You arrive at the restaurant. It seems quieter than usual. You can't smell any cookies baking or burning. Maybe I should just knock and leave it in front of the door. Leave the spell. Success. Ah, oh, I guess no snacks today. However, before you can run away, you hear the door open behind you. Come inside, please. Are there snacks? Jean picks the spell up from the ground. I just finished making some tea and scones. Would you like some? Snacks! 
Yes! I consider myself a connoisseur of scones and tea. You go inside the restaurant with Jean and see a fresh cup of tea and a scone sitting on the table. You immediately sit down and gobble it up. This is... Perfection! Good. Jean shifts in his seat. These scones have a purpose. Can I... Can I talk to the Madelines again? You're being bribed! Uh... Why did you have to lie about the Madelines? Okay, so I think, like, uh... Maybe it was, like, day, like, three or four or something. Um... I pretended to be the ghost of the Madelines that he threw away. <laughs> and I was like, oh, why did you throw me away? Why, Spongebob, why? And now he thinks that I can actually do that. I can't actually do that. It was a prank. <laughs> also, as a heads up, we have ads in 1 minute and 30 seconds. Thank you so much for watching the ads. It helps me get revenue 55% from Twitch. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, this is what happens when you get suckered in by sweet treats. I see. Maybe I should figure something out for the Floria Festival. That chocolate cake could work. You've already had the chocolate cake. You want the Madelines. No, I can do it. I just need to, uh, prepare. Channeling spirits is, you know, intense work and stuff. I can't believe you're doing this again. You get into character. It is we, your Madelines from their garbage grave. Why do you summon us? Hmm. Can Sesu hear what I'm saying? Crap! No, we've taken over Sesu's entire brain! Hmm. Is Sesu okay? Oh, sure! Totally fine! Hmm. I... I'm sorry. For ruining so many batches of you. Bruh, this man is wholesome as fuck! <laughs> and I'm sorry my poor skill led to that critic. Critic? Criticizing you. Criticizing us. Do, do you talk to your... You talk to your treats like this? Cause that, that's cute as hell. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna I'm I'm pause while the ads are going and I'm gonna take a little drink of water. And so, this weekend, I have some very important plans. And my important plans are make fried rice and watch Tiger and Bunny. <laughs> the episodes came out today and I've had to mute all of my Tiger and Bunny mutuals. I'm like, no, no one is going to spoil this for me. No one is going to tell me their reactions. No one is going to breathe Tiger and Bunny in my presence until after I've watched it. And so that's the plan. Uh, I guess I'll also start Tiger, not Tiger and Bunny. I, I am going to start Tiger and Bunny. I'll probably also start My Hair Academia, um, season 6. It, it's a good season, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. And also, my my wife. My wife is here. My wife is back. So I'm looking forward to that. And then probably Spy X Family. And then... I don't know. I mean... It's up to whatever Alex wants. We could... Just spend the whole day catching up to things and just catch up to Jojo, but I don't think we need to do that. So, maybe we'll just do that and then hang out after. I don't know. Maybe we can make some popcorn too. I really want to eat popcorn. And our ads are done. Welcome back from the ads. You did not miss a thing. I just talked about my weekend plans, which TLDR, anime, and fried rice. Alright, let's continue. You're supposed to say something nice now, aren't you? <laughs> Get good then. It's okay. You just have to try again. That's the hard part. The closer I get to the solution, the harder it is to try again. Don't you just have to follow the recipe? 
baking is more than following a recipe. It's a feeling for when the eggs are beaten just right, then knowing the gentleness required to fold in. I've had this restaurant for seven years with no bad reviews. Does that mean everyone's been lying to me this whole time? The village? My customers? The other critics? This is getting to be a bit much! Don't let- uh, does it matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. The result is the same. I need to get better. Okay, you need to get out of here. Didn't you say you had a solution? Yes. Then why are you telling us all this? <gasps> Sorry. Okay. I... I feel bad. But if you have a solution... I don't know for certain it's a solution. Unless you try. Yes. All we have to say is... Stop your moping then! You've got more madelines to bake! And we won't come back until it's done! Hopefully that was the right thing to do. Woo! Ah, oh, man! Head rush! What'd I miss? Nothing. I need to get baking, please. Don't worry, I'm a-going! Good luck with that success charm! You leave the restaurant, hoping that's the last time you have to channel a cake slash cookie. God. Alright. Talk to Nyesha. You walk into the studio and see Nyesha working on a painting. Looks like the energy reading in oil did the trick. Sasu, don't sneak up on me like that. Oh, sorry. I thought you could hear me coming. I've been pretty in the zone all day today. Which is great, but also makes me susceptible to sneaky witches. Hee hee hee. Um, thanks again for your help. The energy reading in oil really did do the trick. Of course! I'm happy to help. That's why I'm here, after all. But from what I remember, you're not too happy about that. Hmm. I'm just busting on you. I'm sure you're not completely rotten on the inside. Only partly. There's that noise again. Ha! <sighs> I still need to ask Jonas to fix that shelf. Niesha, I really don't think that's a shelf. I'm feeling weird energy again. Niesha starts to look more scared. How about we walk to the beach again? This time I took a break. If there's something wrong. No, oh, nope, nothing. Spend too much time in this studio and you start to hear things. Trust me, so come on, let's go. Nyesha grabs your shoulders and pushes you out the studio. Whoa, Nyesha! Nyesha takes off running towards the beach. Here we go again. You run after her and quickly realize you are so, so out of shape. You get to the beach completely out of breath, but Nyesha is fine. Ah, good! The sea! You both stand silent for a little while as you watch the waves. You take a little glance over at Nyesha. She seems... lost in thought. You wonder if you should say something. Ocean magic is potent. Though, I don't have much experience with it. But I'm sure if I were to practice it, I'd master it quickly. I don't think the ocean is something to be mastered. I've looked out at this ocean almost my whole life, and I'm still in awe of it. That's why it always helps soothe my mind. Yesha takes a deep breath. I'm worried about Gran. Oh, why is that? She's just been acting odd recently. She, <laughs> she does seem out of sorts. Yeah, but it's more than that. She acts like everything's fine. So I can't tell if everything is fine, you know? She was apparently like this too when my parents died. Everything was fine, even though it wasn't. I just wish she would openly let herself feel things, you know? Maybe she is okay. Ah, there's just no way. No one could be fine about everything all the time. I guess I feel like I owe happiness to Grant to make up for everything she's been through. 
But I can't tell if she's really proud of me or not. She's always been, like, fine with me, with the village, with... Oh, jeez, what am I saying? I feel like... I feel like some of the text is getting cut off. <laughs> I don't know why, though. It's not anything that I'm doing. But anyway. Oh, jeez, what am I saying? That's so embarrassing. I didn't think I'd talk so much about all this. It's okay. You can keep talking. Maybe this is still the oil and energy reading at work. Seems like you're still in the process of freeing yourself off of whatever is bothering you. If your magic caused this, it's potent stuff. But it only truly works on people who trust it. I guess I trust it then. And you. Ha! I wouldn't say that just yet. Definitely not yet. Well, I should get back. I want to get that painting done by the end of today. Sounds good. I wonder if these beach chats will become a habit. I hope so. Well, see you later. Yellow. Friendship. Yellow? That can mean something with friendship, but also happiness. It does seem like Nisha is struggling with her relationship with her grandmother. Her relationship with Flora is also a little off right now. Maybe something yellow could somehow help? I should write that down in my grimoire. Alright, and now I gotta visit Devin. You walk up to the music studio door and hear some music from inside. I could go with an acoustic guitar. But I always go with the acoustic guitar. Does that mean that's my style? Or that I never innovate? Classic Devin having a classic crisis. Does someone need a spell? Oh, do you have it? Let me see. Here you go. So, how goes the music? Ah, <sighs> I'm not really sure. I think I've got the basic melody down, but the overall tone and arrangement still feel off. Ruth and Mel want to hear what I've got so far today, and I'm terrified they will hate it. This sounds like you've got a medley, melody. Isn't that enough? I don't know. Sometimes when people say, let's see your work in progress, they really mean, is it done? I know exactly what you mean. There was this one time I was working on a potion, and it wasn't going all that smoothly, but genius takes time, am I right? Am I right? Uh, but after the umpteenth explosion, my gran had had enough and threw my ingredients into the compost. I suppose it's a good thing music doesn't really explode. Do either Nyesha or Jonas know what Mel and Ruth are looking for? I thought about asking them, but they're both so busy. I'd feel bad imposing. Hmm. <laughs> I know. You can help me. And what about my work? Oh, right. I just figured, since you're already here... And I have no friends, right, Devin? I'm gonna bring it up every time, Devin. You, re you really laid into me there, Devin. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm happy to help. I don't know much about music, to be honest. That's fine. I just need help figuring out what kind of music best represents Flora. I'll start by asking a few questions if that's alright. Sure, I guess. Wait, let me take this guidance potion first so I can get the most out of this. Devin quickly downs the potion. Ready. First question. When you think of festivals, what kind of music comes to mind? Hmm... Happy, upbeat music. Like music people can dance to. Or it just puts you in a good mood. I've always imagined festivals as happy places full of happy people walking around doing, uh, you know, happy things. Wait, imagined? Devin, please. <laughs> have you never been to a festival before? Devin, yes, I have no friends. <laughs> Oh, no. I guess you did say you've never been to a party. It shouldn't be surprising that you've never been to a festival. Look, look. This kid delivers these lines. Just, they're like fucking arrows. Right at me. Right at my heart. But look at that face. They're just like, oh, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to, you know, do my best. I'm just trying to understand. Like, oh, that's right. You don't have any friends. That sucks. To <laughs> get... Help! <laughs> Don't rituals count for anything? How come you've never been to a festival? My grand tried, but the rest of my family said they'd lost their focus. 
because they solely used to be for blessing the local town. But now festivals are all fun and games, though maybe that's not such a bad thing. What's your favorite part about festivals? That's a big question. The music is always great, mainly because it's local musicians. Then there's the food. Candy apples, fritters, ice cream, donuts, cotton candy. Devin just listed all of the things I currently cannot eat and I'm mad about it. Okay. Oh, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. And then there's the carnival games and the petting zoo and the... Oh, I'm rambling, aren't I? No, no. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, it is. You'll definitely have to try everything at the festival. Anyway, I got us distracted. I have another question for you. What do you think the tone of Flora is? How about... Uh, yeah, definitely eccentric, to be honest. Everyone here seems to have quirks. Not that I'm really one to talk, but still. I don't get how this place operates. Okay, maybe I'm not the person to ask. What am I going to do? What kind of music should I write? You wish you could help Devin out just a little more. They did ask for a guidance potion. Is there any other way you could guide them? <gasps> ding, ding, ding! What about runes again? They certainly resonated ah, 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 with Devin last time. Maybe they can help out again. Let's try something. I need a paper, a pen, and some sort of bowl or rag to hold things. Sure, give me a second. Devin runs around the room and gathers the items. Alright, I'm gonna write down a few runes, and then you're gonna pull one out of... You look at the bag bowl Devin found. A hat? Really? Sorry, it's all I've got. It's fine. Pulling things out of hats is fine. Anyway... Runes can be used in spells for an extra boost and as a method of divination. Hmm, these symbols do look sort of familiar. Have I used them before? Ah, haha, -ha, no. Maybe the witch from your town uses them though? Okay, so uh, remember that party I mentioned before that Devin went to that I made them a little too chill for? Uh, I use runes to like boost my spell because again, I thought they were going to like a like a jumping party, like like a fucking rave or something. Not not a picnic, like chill out by the lake. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I also did not tell them that I did that. <laughs> you finish writing the runes and place them into the hat. Alright, once you pull one out, I'll read it to you. Okay. Devin reaches into the hat, then stops. You pull it out. Me, but the rune is for you. I'm too nervous, I'll pick the wrong one. But usually, when used for divination, the person asking for the rune should pull the- Please? Ah, what the heck, if that's what they want, then... Fine, let me see. You pull a piece of paper out of the hat. Looks like we pulled... Uh, wait. What rune is this? Didn't you write these a moment ago? Your grand always said your handwriting was awful. Maybe she was right? Guess you could just say whatever. It's not like any of these runes are bad, per se. Uh, it looks like this rune is... Uh, a ruse. The rune of risk and creative force. Sounds like you could go crazy. So it needs to be really creative. Okay. Being creative is what you do, right? I suppose. So there. All sorted, right? Mm-hmm. Are you ready for that meeting? Mm-hmm. Devin still seems uneasy. <laughs> is there something else? Can you come with me to my meeting? For moral support? Mm. You don't have to come in or anything. Just walk over with me. And wait outside. When is it? In a few minutes. I guess we better head over then. Thank you. You and Devin walk over to the town hall. Break a leg. Thanks. Devin enters Ruth's office and you wait outside. You can hear Devin playing a melody on the guitar, but you can't quite make it out. Sounds like it's going well enough though. Maybe you should try getting more into reading runes. You hear what sounds like thank yous and goodbyes. Guess the meeting's over. You wonder how it went. Well, they said it was too experimental. 
I just don't know what artistic genius looks like. Maybe. Whatever it is. Ah, wrong voice. Whatever it is, the music isn't right yet. For some reason, it just hasn't clicked yet. And now they probably think I'm a terrible composer. I don't think that's true. Nisha gave me this opportunity to show off my skills. I'm nothing more than a disappointment. Devin, the rune could still be right. My interpretation could be wrong. Considering you couldn't read it. <laughs> I could always take another look. No, sorry. I think I just need to be alone right now. Thanks for trying to help, though, Sessie. Oof, that... Mm, didn't go according to plan. But there's still time for Devin to figure things out, so I'm sure it'll all be okay. Alright, that's everyone. So let's go sleep. And I think after the next day, um, we will end for tonight. Um, which I think is right on time, because no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 because after we finish 7... Then we'll start the next stream when we do this on the full moon, which is always fun. Okay, let's go to bed. We got nothing else to do. Oh, what's up, bitch? Huh, you got something for me today? I want to see it. Caw, caw. You know the cost. Let's go. Caw, caw. Yes, I remember our agreement. One crow treat coming up. Ka ka, a munch munch munch. Watch your profanity. <laughs> Hello, three point recall. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good evening. All right, now let's see it. It's an egg. Ka ka, check out this egg. I found it. I did not lay it. Ah, uh, a jade egg. I don't want to know where this came from. I guess I'll keep this for something later. It'd be a waste not to. Also, I am glad you're okay. All right, let, let's see what these people got for me today. Hello, Sasu. Don't worry. This time, it's nothing a positive attitude can't fix. But could I get help with a positive attitude? Nothing would make me happier than some incense. Best regards, Mel. Uh, okay, you, you really want to be positive. Gotcha. Yo, Sesu, I need something special for a potential special someone, like, to meet. I'm trying to go all out, alright? A charm for some charm? Jonas. Alright, you want to meet people. Hey, Sesu, sorry for being vague, but if they read this, they might try something. I'm through with dealing with them. I just want some peace and quiet. You need to get them away from me. Send incense. Also, keep this a secret. Alright. Let's go to our garden and get some fucking plants. Oh, I didn't water this yesterday. Oop. How did I... How did I do that? It made a watering sound. Um. Weird. Are you watered? Or are you dying? Do you need do you need some fertilizer? There you go, buddy. All right, and now let's get the extra stuff. Yeah, the weeds. All right. Now let's cut everything here, and let's water it all. And let's pick up the extra weeds. I don't think I picked up weeds from the- Oh, I didn't do anything here. Okay, that's fine. I think that's- Yeah, I can get those. And then... Let's water it all. Oh, come on. Okay, I got it. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And then let's get some more weeds! Okay. Uh... Why do I not have one? I think I missed one one day. Um, okay, let's go home and make what they need. Let's see. Mel needs incense. 
and you need lavender. I'm out of lavender after this. Okay. You need yarrow. And you need hollyhock. Wow, it's been a while. Alright. Let's make it. Hey, optimism incense. Alright. Let's keep crafting. What's next? Uh, Jonas needs some charm. Or charm. Alright. So you need a rose. By any other name. Um, Calendula. I still don't quite understand what kind of flower this is, but here we are. Um, and Illumium. So now let's... Yeah. And we made some fucking new love charm. Cute. That's really cute. Alright, and then... Nisha needs incense. To get rid of something. Hmm. Ah, I closed the book. Alright, so you need rosemary. Luckily I got a lot of that, thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's pea flower, yep. And then... More aluminum. Let's make it. Cleaning incense. Cool. Alright. Let's go deliver this to the people. Let's start with Ruth. Eesh. I'm a little nervous about seeing Ruth. That communication spell went a little bit haywire. Though, it did seem to do the trick, so maybe th everything's okay. You knock on Ruth's office door. Yes. You enter the office. Hello! Hello, Sesu. I'm glad you're here. Is something wrong? Yeah, clean cleansing. Cleaning. Cleaning cleansing. That spell from the other day. Oh no. It made me act so strangely. I got so mad. I said I'd quit. And I don't usually feel that way at all. I don't feel that way at all. But, of course, I'm glad the budget got figured out, but... My goodness, I'm the mayor. I can't act like that. Sesu, is it possible to be allergic to magic? Uh... You're actually just allergic to whatever I put in. I put in some stuff that I shouldn't have, but you know, it's fine. I don't think so. Perhaps everyone is right. Perhaps I am falling apart. Maybe you shouldn't have put in that secret ingredient. Nah, come on now, Ruth. Pull yourself together. They still got the work done, right? Maybe your reaction was just what Mel and Jonas needed to figure it out. Hmm, maybe you're right to a certain extent. I still feel like I failed them somehow. I feel like everyone is avoiding me now. I tried to see what I could help with, but everyone said they got it. Mel even cleared my schedule for me. Also, Mel did not look well. I do not want her taking on any more work. You should look in the mirror, Ruth. <laughs> that sounds like a good thing to... And then Niesha cooked dinner last night and breakfast this morning. It's like everyone is treating me like a child. Getting old sucks. Ruth, language! It sucks! Do you know what's really awful? can't stop dreaming about going somewhere completely different with all this going on. Where I'm not the lady they all watch grow old and inept. I go on a grand adventure by myself and when people see me traveling alone they think, wow, she must be a competent person to be traveling all alone. And then they find me so interesting and ask me all the places I've been. And they tell me I should write a memoir, so I do. Wow. You should do it. Haha, <laughs> perhaps someday, but for now I have too many responsibilities here. I mean, could someone else be mayor? Oh, my god. <laughs> I, I suppose that's true. Oh no, don't trigger Robo, Ruth. N not that you shouldn't be mayor, it's just if you want to do other things. All of what I said is just a fantasy. 
I'm sure once the festival is over, I'll want to stay right here. Though, maybe with this day off, I'll indulge and read some travel guides at the library. Or I could check out one and read it at Jean's Cafe while drinking a nice coffee. I've always wanted to do that. I think that sounds great. I should get going so you can enjoy your day. Thanks for stopping by, Sesu. I owe you for listening to all of my old lady rambles. Bye. Ugh. I wonder if it would benefit Ruth to actually get out of Flora for a bit. Sounds like she really needs something new in her life. Yellow? Huh? Mercury? It, it does seem like Ruth is struggling to communicate what she wants. If she even knows that herself, maybe something attributed to Mercury could help her. I should write that down in my grimoire. I don't... I still don't know how to get to this grimoire. Let's talk to Mel. Also, we got ads in 1 minute and 40 seconds. Thank you, as usual, for watching the ads. It helps me gain revenue. I really appreciate it. 55%. Uh, or is it 50%? I think it's 50%. I've been saying 55% the whole time and no one, no, no, none of you guys corrected me. It's okay. Uh, none of us know really. Um, anyway, I appreciate it. You enter Mel's office to find her sitting at her desk. Oh, cute. Eek. You all sound too good. In Covenpolitan, it said if you smile, you instantly improve your mood. Oh, sorry, hold on. Let me let me try and, like, plug my nose while I say this. In Covenpolitan, it said if you smile, you instantly improve your mood. <laughs> Bruh, you need to improve your nose with that tissue. I don't think this is a mood thing. Maybe Jean was right about the whole needing rest thing. But there are so many requests, demands, and favors. My schedule was already full to boot. But that's alright, because we have meh. <laughs> Covipolitan says this is just part of exploring the quantum cycle. The interface between interconnectedness and insight. Uh... The future will be a perennial unfolding of synchronocracy. <laughs> Ooh! Head rush. Do you have that spell I requested? Uh, man, I, I kind of forgot her talking. Hold on. Do you have that spell I requested? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, we're at another break. Let me let me stop and uh, talk about something else. Um, I'm trying to think about what to talk about. Um. I like that all of my friends, all of my new VTuber friends that I have met through um, a certain axolotl, uh, they're all getting models and being really happy. And I'm really happy for them. It's really awesome. Like, they're all like, yes, we're, we're moving. We're 2D. It, it's also fun being like the person that um, saves all the guides. <laughs> Because they're just like, oh, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to tweak this. And I'm just like, I got a guide for it somewhere. Let's do it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. They're they're fun people. I, I feel like, you know, I've met a lot of nice people so far in uh, the VTubing space. And I think what really helps is that um, because I'm just so wary in general of like fandom after like the terrible fandom experiences that I've had. I I've also had really great fandom experiences, but you know, also a few bad ones. Uh, I'm just really like selective with who I talk to and give my time to. And um, I don't know, these folks sound like nice people to give my time to. And uh, that's it. That's that's my ad talk. <laughs> um, all right, we are back. Sorry, I'm looking at... um. Yes, I was looking at an email I got. Uh, remind me later to post. I forgot to post. Uh, I did a test knit for a Kirby scrunchie. I forgot to post it on Twitter. Um, so I'll do that. It came out. It came out all right. It's all right, guys. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not. It's not great. It's all right. All right. You sure you don't want cold medicine? 
Oh, it's just stress. Oh. But if I create a positive outlook on this quickly deteriorating situation before my eyes, then poof! Stress gone! Cold gone! Oof, I feel a little... Uh-oh, here we go again. You may be ruled by stagnation without realizing it. Mel, I really don't think you're okay. And by not okay, you mean delirious. To embark on the vision quest to become one with it. This is even worse than the other day. Have you found your myth? The infinite is calling to you via ultrasonic energy. <laughs> what to do? What to do? I should light these incense. Mel tries to light a match. After match. After match. But she just keeps dropping them. Why don't you let me do that? You take the matches and light the incense. Mel sticks her face right into the smoke and inhales. Ah, optimism. I need to figure out how to get her out of this sickness-induced craze. Uh, incantations. It's the only way. They, they sort of caused the mess, but also let Mel get through it last time? Honestly, you don't have any better ideas. Alright, Mel, I need you to focus. We're gonna try incantations again to get you through all of this again. Yes, teach me your witchy ways. Repeat after me, just like you did last time. No more fear and no more fret. Everything is fine. Don't forget. Yes, it is possible to eradicate the things that can extinguish us. But not without understanding on our side. That's... Uh, right? I guess? But that wasn't the incantation. At all. I love magic. I should have known you weren't listening. Those incense are really clearing up my... <coughs> Mel, look at me. We're trying to do magic. Y you like magic, right? Magic makes all of our problems go away. Yes. To do magic, I need you to repeat what I say. To do magic, I need you to repeat what I say. Yes, just like that, but not that. Repeat the incantation with full intention. Repeat the incantation with full intention. Oh, okay, stop. J just look at me and repeat the following words. No more fear and no more fret. Everything is fine. Don't forget. No more fear and no more fret. Everything is... Don't forget when the enlightenment of the stars is correct. So close. How should you navigate this karmic stratosphere? Life form, look within, and recreate yourself. I, I don't think I could do this, Mel. To embark on the journey is to become one with it. Today, science tells us that the essence of nature is peace. What do I do? Try one more time. That's right, Sasu. Keep it together. If anyone can lift Mel's mood enough to cure a cold, it's this one. One more time, with passion. Mel, hear my words. No more fear. No more fret. Everything is fine. Don't... What the... Mel, you're supposed to be... What's going on here? Uh... Maybe if I grind up this incense and sort them, they'll be more effective. <laughs> Mel, no, those incense are lit. The optimism, it burns! Look, I had it all under control, okay? Mel was about to have a major breakthrough, but... Mm. Okay, fine! Haha, <laughs> blaze it. Mel has been spouting nonsense, and I tried to help, but I didn't know what to do. Is that a crime? Mm. Gene puts his head on Mel's head. Oh... It's my genie poo. Come on, Mel. Time to head home. Is there soup? Mm hmm. Yay! <laughs> Before Jean and Mel walk out the door, Jean stops and looks at you. By the way, it's not a crime to not know what to do. Jean carries Mel through the door and towards home. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to romance this man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> at least I tried. Alright. Jonas time. 
You arrive at Jonas's home. You can smell the stench of way too much cologne emanating from the door. I don't think there's a strong enough love potion to overcome this amount of cologne. Jonas, are you alive in there? Jonas stampedes to the door. Yes! It's spell time! We're like, smell time? Is all that cologne really necessary? Do you have my spell or not? J just saying. Here you go. Sweet deal. Alright, gotta go. Uh, 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 no, not so fast. First, you gotta tell me something. Who's it for? Come on, give me some gossip. I'm so fucking bored in this fucking town. There's like five of you and I got no gossip. I need everything. Hot people, obviously. Uh, you're gonna need more than a spell for that. Which is why I'm glad you're still here. Oh, no. What do you want me to do this time? Please be my wing witch. Right, right. A, a wing witch. And what exactly does a wing witch do? Helps you pick up hot people. Don't you have a festival to build? It, yeah, but Mel said maybe I need a break after the other day. Mel? Advise taking a break? Yeah, why? Uh, it's nothing. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> this... <laughs> Scrap. Great. So I thought maybe you could use some more of those magic words again. Even though they only kind of worked last time. But it's not like I have a lot of witches to choose from, so... Um... Excuse you. I'm the best default witch there ever was. Uh, yeah, yes, of course you are. What was that? Did you say something? Uh, what do I have to do? Get down on my knees and beg? Yes, beg, peasant. Right, of course. Oh, great wing witch Setsu. Please say some magic words so that I may attract hot people. Great wing witch Setsu has a nice ring, has a nice ring to it. You guess you could spare some magic words for Jonas again. But is this really worth your effort, oh great one? Very well. How about this? Uh, may you find love that is as loyal as true. Beauty wouldn't be bad, too. Great, I feel all juiced up. Time to charm. Jonas ties the new love charm to his belt. Alright, well, good luck. Aren't you coming with me? Coming with you to where? I, I don't know, I was thinking about the park or something. The park? To pick up hot people? Sure, it's a nice day. Plenty of people will be walking around there. If you say so. What's wrong with the park? The parks are lovely. Th they sure are, but they're not the first place that comes to mind as pickup spots. At least not for dates. But like, Gene runs the only restaurant bar thing in town. He'll just shove Madeline's in my face if I go there. He lets you eat them? Jealous. Maybe I can sneak you one. Uh, fine, I'll come with you. You and Jonas head to the park and find a bench. At least Jonas was right about one thing. It is a nice day outside. Uh, how about that person? Eh. Or that one? Meh. Nah. Do you actually want to pick up hot people? M maybe hot people are overrated. I have an idea. W what Jonas takes off the charm and throws it. What the heck? It's not my charm's fault you can't meet hot people. And that's littering! And my hard work! Ah, maybe someone else will pick it up who needs it. It's such a nice day, I think I'd rather sit here without a care in the world. Did you hear that? I never get tired of the outdoors. Not to mention, I tan well. And Jonas, I think there's something in the... Mel, on the other hand, she just burns. I remember this one time she, a big dog, jumps out from the bush and fetches Jonas's charm. Doggy! Wow! What a good looking dog. What a good looking dog, guys. Aw, oh, man. Yeah. What a, what a good guy. Yes! Good dog time. Yes! Thank you for showing up in this game. I love you. Okay. Woof! Doggy! me 
What the heck is wrong with it? Aw, he just needs some brushing in a bath is all. Woof, woof. Baby. Baby. I wonder if he has a home. I don't see a collar. Does Flora have an animal shelter? <laughs> Doggy said no animal shelter. Eesh. Sorry. No, of course you don't want to go there. Of course not, buddy. Don't listen to the nasty witch. Excuse me. What happened to great wing witch Sesu? I thought I was your wing witch. I'm I'm a curse you, buddy. <laughs> what are you going to do then? Take him home? Uh Yes. That was fast. When I commit, I commit. How about we go home and clean you up? That sound good, boy? Yes. Woof woof. Yes, clean me, please. Let's get going then. Just think. Maybe him and Ramsey could be friends. A bird and a dog is friends. I'm sure that'll go well. What a great day. Let's get going. Jonas walks off with the dog beside him. M maybe your charm worked after all? Yeah, it, it was a love charm. A new love charm. He did find a new love. Alright, let's talk to Jean. Time for snacks with Jean. You walk up to Jean's house. You smell something cooking, but it doesn't smell like anything you've smelled before. You knock on the door, and Jean opens it up. Perfect timing. Come to the kitchen. Yes! You follow Jean to the kitchen and smell cheesy, buttery goodness. Would you like a grilled cheese sandwich? Boy, would I! A grilled cheese sandwich? What's that? I cannot believe that witch me. That witch me has never had a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm about to slap myself. <laughs> You've never had. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Jean slams the plate in front of you. On it is a sandwich of melted cheese. It looks greasy. Eat it. Oh, okay. You take a bite. What, what is this? The melted cheese with crusty yet buttery bread charred to perfection. Before you know it, it's all gone. Delicious, right? Delicious is an understatement. Are you a kitchen witch? Have you really never had grilled cheese before? If food doesn't have some sort of magical intention behind it, there's no point in eating it. At least that's what my family says. Though I suppose my grand was a bit more relaxed on that concept. Want to learn how to make it? You teach me such an advanced technique? It's not advanced. Anyone can make it. I doubt that. Let me show you. You walk over to the stove. All Jean does is slice some butter, some bread, butter it, and put some cheese on it. That's it. That's it. Of course, all the ingredients are of the highest quality. I baked the bread this morning. And churn the butter yourself? No, I purchased it from a farm in another village. And the cheese. The fewer the ingredients, the better quality they should be. Of course, most combinations of bread, butter, and cheese are wonderful. Are you making grilled cheese for the festival? No, I'm still working on the Madelines. Well, you should definitely make grilled cheese if they don't work out. They're going to work out. Oh, um, of course they are. I was just saying. I just needed a break today. Make something simple. A dish doesn't need to be a work of art to be delicious. It can be the same with magic, you know? A simple spell is better than a more complex one, depending on the situation. Not every spell needs to be a ritual, my gran used to say. And did you listen? Ah! Uh, I mean, bigger is showier? gets impressed by simple things. You like the grilled cheese. Uh, I don't think either of us is very good at listening. You have your own restaurant. Do you even have to listen to people? To customers and critics. Critics? Jean falls silent again. People who rate your restaurant. Oh, do you get a lot of those? Every once in a while. Sounds stressful. It is. They can either make you feel like a world-class chef, or the complete opposite. 
Well, if they're anything like my family, it's usually the complete opposite, so I, I get it. Will there be critics at the festival? Hmm. You take Jean's silence as a yes. I see. I bet there isn't a critic who wouldn't love your grilled cheese. I'd criticize the critic for having no taste if that were the case. You could curse them. You'd let me do that? Hmm. Uh, of course, I'd, I'd rather you get a positive review. But you know where to find me if the day comes. I should probably get all this cleaned up and return to studying. Sounds good. Thanks again for the grilled cheese. It must be hard to be creative with all that pressure. Alright, thank you for the smooches. I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you for hanging out with me. Hmm, the sun. The sun represents creativity and ambition. Yeah, that's perfect for Jean. Let's take note of that in my grimoire. Alright. Let me buy some stuff while I'm here. I need some sachets. I got vials. I need some resin. And I need some bottles. And I'm Gouda. Alright, let's talk to Niesha. You walk into the studio and see Niesha cowering in a corner. Niesha, are you okay? Oh, thank god you're here. Please tell me you have the spell I requested. Sure. Hand over the spell. The cleansing incense. Incense, great. Can can you light them? Sure. Where do you keep the matches? Matches? Don't you have any? Uh, not on me, no. But how am I supposed to... It's that sound again. There's something else in here, isn't there? Okay, fine. Yes, there is. Happy now? What are they? Who cares? Look at my precious paints! They've been drinking them straight from the bottle. I can't make art if they keep eating my supplies. But so much for smoking them out since somebody doesn't carry matches on them. Yes, I get it. Witches love burning stuff, but that doesn't mean we walk around carrying matches. Anyway, it sounds like these critters are something more than your regular lousy energy. A basic cleansing incense isn't strong enough for them. What do we do then? Hmm. Great, another situation you're not great in. Meddling with the spirits is pretty advanced stuff. Well, maybe talking with them will help? It can't be that hard. Grand makes it look easy. easy. And I'm Grand's best student. Well, we're going to have a chat with them. A chat? Just let me get a pot of tea with some biscuits then. Uh, just salt will do. Do you have any? You're being serious. I got salt. I use it for watercolor sometimes. Let me grab it. Nisha goes off and gets the salt. There you go. Now, I need to know one thing before we start. Do you know what these creatures are called? Mm -hmm. The last witch called them... Fibbly nibblies. A fibbly what? <laughs> fibbly nibblies. <laughs> I've never heard those, but okay. Now I need to... H hold on. You're not just, like, pulling my leg, are you? Oh, what do you mean? Y you actually believe me? Of course! But there's definitely something in here, so yeah. Uh, it'll be good to confront them finally. That caused me so many problems as a kid. You've seen the fibbly nibbly since you were a kid? Yeah, and they used to get me into all sorts of trouble at school. I couldn't concentrate as much as the other kids because of them. Then I would yell at them, and obviously no one could see them, so... Well, maybe this time we'll get it sorted out once and for all, okay? Thanks. Now I need to cast a circle, and once it's cast, neither of us can leave it until I take it down. Yeah, sure. You pour some salt into your hand. You know there's bits of dirt in it. Hopefully this salt is good enough. Earth, elements of trees, rocks, and flowers. I call on you to guide and guard us in this circle. Air, elements of thoughts and communication. I call on you to guard and guide and guard us in this circle. Fire, elements of passion and creativity. I call on you to guide and guard us in this circle. Water, elements of the ebb and flow of life. I call on you to guide and guard us in this circle. I we should be good to go now to start talking. Go ahead and ask and ask your first question. Why? Why are you here? 
You take a deep breath, empty your mind, and await an answer from the Pibbly Nibblies. You hear anything? Uh, give me a second. Take a few moments, but you don't hear anything. Could Niesha be lying? No. The story about her childhood sounded too sincere. And you could definitely sense at least something's energy in here. You listen for a few more moments when... I, I, I think I hear something. R really? What are they saying? I'm not sure. They're, they're speaking in a language I feel like almost understand, but don't. Ugh, they're doing that again. You can understand them? If you could talk to them, then why am I doing this? I, I can't talk to them when they're like this. That's why I need your help. You get the feeling there's more going on here than Niesh is telling you. Let me see what I can figure out then. Any information, even slightly wrong, is good information, right? You think you hear them saying... They want to help. Help? All they do is terrorize me. Maybe they think they're helping? I would love to know their definition of help. So far, all they've done is sabotage any semblance of my reputation in this village. Ugh, it doesn't matter what they want. I'll make them go away. Hmm... You feel like you could barely understand what they were saying. They might be crying? For real? I mean, if they could learn to behave, they could stay. And, and what does behave mean? Stay out of my way? Be quiet? No eat and paint? Uh, you're not getting much out of this, er, uh, conversation. You can sense the Fibbly Nibbly's presence, but you still can't completely understand them. Maybe you need to take another approach with Niesha and her little spirit friends. Sasu, what am I supposed to do? Um, you don't know. B become friends, maybe? You know how hard I've had to work to get people to take me seriously again? I've had to get into a top art school, and then I had to be at the top of the top art school. So no, I won't be friends with these creatures again. Uh, again? You know what? I think I'm just done here for today. I'm gonna go home and work there. I got too much to do to be dealing with this. Niesha turns to walk out of the circle. Niesha, wait! The circle! I need to take it! Before you can stop her, Niesha steps out of the circle. You both hear the sobbing of the fibbly nibblies. S sasu Suddenly, a tornado of art supplies starts flinging paint across the walls. Thunderclouds of glitter explode. It rains charcoal and pastels. Run! You both manage to escape the art studio in one piece. Though you are a bit of a mess. Oh, let's wait for things to settle down. We'll come back later to clean up the mess. Hmm. It doesn't matter. All my art supplies are ruined now. I'm not getting the mural done for the festival. Nisha runs off towards home. You think about chasing after her for a second, but maybe she needs some time alone. Maybe trying to talk to the Fibbly Nibbly wasn't such a good idea after all. Oops. Well, I didn't have a choice. Alright, let's talk to Devin. Uh, I kind of don't want to go in there. I won't blame Devin if they still want to be alone. You knock on the door. Come in. You enter the music studio. Devin still looks pretty down. Oh, Sasu. Hmm. Hey, friend. How you doing? Hmm. Is that too much? It's too much, isn't it? Sorry, I'm not the best at comforting folks. If you were a crow, this would be going much better. How do you comfort a crow? Honestly, it's pretty easy. You just need to give them something shiny. Ah. Uh, wanna sit? You and Devin take a seat on the couch. You both just sit there in silence for a bit. I'm sorry about yesterday. I feel like I kept asking you for spells, then messing them up. Uh, I wouldn't blame yourself, buddy. Your sloppy handwriting didn't help, and neither did your half-knowledge of runes. Why can't I ever seem to know what to do? I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to compose music for people. You make good tea! Oh my gosh, tea! Devin jumps off the couch. Should I make some? So impolite of me not to ask. That, that's not what I meant at all. 
I meant you make good tea as something you know how to do well. Oh, I see. Devin sits back down. I know. How about we chill on the beach and get out of this stuffy studio? Yeah, I think I'd like that. You and Devin walk to the beach. I love the smell of the ocean. My town is on the coast too, so it reminds me of home. Do you miss home? A little. She's here. Oh. I look forward to bringing my family to Flora someday. I think they'd like it here. Wanna take a seat on the rocks over there? Sure. You and Devin take a seat. Getting out was a good suggestion. I'm feeling better already. Can... oh. Can I ask you something? Again? Of course, my guy. What's up? How do you know what spells to make people? Oh, wow. Um... I'm just a genius. Really? Well, fine. It's a skill passed down to Von T so it's in fine tune with our training. We take in people's feelings and sense what plants, crystals, minerals, etc. could help them. The more experienced a Von Tiesel is, Tiesel witches, the more precise they can be. That includes experience of people's feelings, but also the natural world. The more you can dig into someone's feelings and the more knowledge of Mother Nature's materials, the more you have to work with. Oh, the more you have to work with. I see. Also, as a heads up, we have ads in one minute. I appreciate uh, you watching the ads, it helps me gain revenue just a little bit more than usual. 50%! Isn't that neat? Also, as a heads up, I have stream loots uh, that you can participate in. Um, I got card packs! Considering buy a card Consider buying a card pack. It helps me gain money, it helps you get more redeems and fun things to do with me to interact, and also, uh, when I hit certain goals, I will play certain scary games over the month of October. It's cool as hell. Consider it. Alright, let's continue. I guess you can't use that skill to figure out what kind of music I should write. Unfortunately not. But let me ask you a question though. If you could compose any kind of music, what would it be? Honestly, I don't know. There are so many different instruments and sounds out there. I guess I'm sort of similar to you. The more types of music I can study, the more kinds I can write. That's why I like composing music for people. Everyone wants something a little different. And it's fun figuring out what people want. Usually. <laughs> so, usually composing music isn't that difficult for you? I mean, there's always some challenge, but this feels like something a little more, too. Music has the power. Uh, there's an ad break, so I'm gonna take a little breaky myself and drink some water. My throat is dying because I'm talking so much. Alright, while I wait for the ads to finish, what else can I talk about? Um, I'm trying to figure out who to raid after this. Um, I have a lot of choices, but I don't know who to go with, you know? Or I could just go with none of the people that I follow and just, like, pick someone playing witchy life story, but, you know. I don't know, one person's playing uh, Farming Simulator 2022. I might send you guys there, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, after this, I'm probably going to eat a snack, like, after I stream. I have, like, these, uh, gluten-free ginger snaps. They're so good, y'all. Oh, and maybe I could have it with some tea. Oh, I gotta turn on the tea. Okay, I'll do that after I stream. I got my game plan. I'm excited. Okay, and the ads are finished. Welcome back from the ads. I had a little bit of ad talk where I just talked about what I'm going to do after this. TLDR, I'm going to eat snacks. Alright. 
Music has the power to bring people together, and I want this music to bring Flora together. But I haven't figured out how to incorporate Flora yet. Maybe some local musicians could help. Have you asked Mel and Ruth about it? I'm too nervous. I feel like they've already given me enough, and there's not much time left. But I do want people to enjoy what I've composed this time, more than usual. Because you're writing for your best friend's festival? And you'll be listening too. Ah. You're worried about me? I'd be happy to listen to you just play some simple tunes on your guitar. Honestly, I'm excited to hear anything you're working on. I'll always support you. Even if I get weird and experimental? Especially if you get weird and experimental. Thanks, Sasu. Nisha isn't the type who would ask you to compose music if she didn't think you could do it. That's true. From what I can tell, she loves this village. Chances are, she wanted to ask someone she could trust. At least, that's what I would do. I might have ruined that trust after yesterday. But beating myself up about it won't help anyone. Might as well head back to the studio and try again. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I guess we'll see. Thanks for walking with me, though. I know I'm pretty down, but it did help me cheer me. It did help cheer me up. I'm glad. Good luck with the composing, my guy. The sun. Yeah, creativity and optimism is just what Devin needs. Let me write that down in my grimoire. All right, it's time to go home. And with this. I am ending oh, the day, my stream. That's it. Um, all right. Let me. Okay, it's just a quit. Um, all right. Yeah, this is where we're gonna end for the day. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me switch my screen over to my just chatting screen. Yeah. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have a good day and a good rest of your evening. Um, please consider drinking water. We've been here for a while. Please get up and stretch your legs. Again, we've been here for a while. Your legs would appreciate getting a little uh, stretching, especially after sitting for so long, unless you've been standing or doing push-ups or planks for some reason, you know, whatever, whatever you wanna do. Uh, consider having a good sleep tonight. It's Friday. You get to sleep in tomorrow if you work a uh, 9 to 5 Monday to Friday. If you work tomorrow, then maybe it's good that you sleep now. <laughs> so that way, you're all ready for the morning. Um, okay. I am going to... We're gonna, we're gonna do a little raid. Um, we're going to raid uh, a person that I follow that is currently playing a uh, farming simulator. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, do I want to do that? Yeah, second. we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys again next week. Let me switch over to my offline screen. And then we can get ready to raid. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Let's raid. <laughs>